suspect the top lane, but we are seeing Kurt with Kale so far. Now, I think they pretty much tried to bait that into a uh, bait gambit. And they should realize that that's going to happen with the fact that Kurt has come around the side. They're going to actually go in on towards Genji here. There's a lot of minions, but the damage is decent. And they turn it around on towards Aranea. And it will be first blood for Diamond. The flash away from Genji. He will finish Vip as it keeps on coming towards him. As much as he tries to take it around, they're going to flash straight in. And ball on aggression. Diamond getting straight on towards him. Played it because there was so much crowd control. There's barely any crowd control here for Alternate. This may well be a serious problem for him. He's going full on aggression here. He doesn't care. Stan United's going to come out. Darian's going to get the Shadow Dash. Catches both of them. J. Reed's going to be the focus of target. He's going to get dropped down, but we see Aaron Air coming in with the protection. The Ignite will take him down. It was Darian that picked up. Just trying to bait him out a little bit more so he can Shadow Dash back on towards him. White Knight forced to get away from this one. The Arrow is going to catch on towards J. Reed. Bear Snatch coming straight in. Alex Ings picks up the kill. They can't get the damage on towards Diamond. They're going to Cataclysm down. Crescendo comes out. He's safe. Alex Ings picks up a second. Now can he get a third? He's going on towards Krayton has already used everything, the death mark even from White Knight, and now Arane are going to be caught out, oh, he's not escaping that one. You want to play, and Arane says, yes, I actually, I do want to stick him for this one. Will it be a bad thing for him, though, as Kurt here on the top lane? Well, not even a contest there. Let's get back to Red Buff. Now, so that's the interesting part. Diamond did actually take the hammered away here by White Knight and by Creaton, ready to pounce on that one, an alternate, and not trying to put up any challenge to this one. There they finally go, Arane going in, crescendo lands on three, and they're going to pounce through, and White Knight He's right in there, though, on top of the uh, on top of the ultimate from Jarvan. As they do decide to back away, it will actually be a two for one there. What well, can be Darian, the moment he comes out there, that's the inhibitor going down inside the 20-minute mark right now. Gambit, our super minions pushing in the bottom. It's a perfect split push for Gambit. Marker here taking damage from Kurt, but he's not too scared of that one. Jerry's going to get burst down by Alex Hitch. And they've not really lost any health in the meantime. Meanwhile, Genja is pushing up the middle lane here. Here comes the arrow across. How oh, they can stop the inhib either. They're taking the middle one as well. You can see Genja starting to do work on that turret. He wants to find this kill. He's going to get the root. That's going to be the rune prison. Crescendo comes across him. Vulnerability will come out. White Knight's going to get focused. He tries to turn around. Will he have enough to pop? Darian will go down, but Creaton and the rest of the team are collapsing like a deck of cards right now. And Gambit are pulling the aces. But I wasn't expecting a week off for Darian to really bring this life back into Gambit that they've shown here.